feeling that he had wasted his time with the old man. He felt a reassuring hand on his shoulder. I can sense your frustration, but let me assure you, if you can find your true calling in life, you would live with passion, make the world a better place, be richer than you could ever imagine, and feel as though the very face of God is smiling upon you. That may happen next week, next year, or even in the years ahead. But the search will be worth it, and your life will never be the same again. So for now, your purpose is to find your purpose. Thanks. Oh, and there's one other thing I forgot to mention to the old man. What's that? Just as those men and women need to get down to the river with a pen to find their goal, so we need to remain active to find our purposes. We don't find it sitting around at home doing nothing. It was getting late, so the two men returned for home and began their long walk back to the village. As they walked, the young man was in deep thought about what he had just learned. And the wise man smiled to himself, knowing that conversation like this were an important part of living his own purpose. Now, over to you. Do you know your purpose for life? Are you still looking? Or have you given up? Let's go to our scripture. In Habakkuk chapter 2, verses 2 to 4. I'm reading from the New King James Version. Then the Lord answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets, that he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it will speak, and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Behold, the proud, his soul is not upright with him, but the just shall live by faith. But the just shall live by faith. When I was preparing for this message, I go back and forth asking, Lord, why this message and why do you have to save your people? Why the word vision? Why the word purpose? So the title of my message this morning is, Has God Given You a Vision? Ask your neighbor, has God given you a vision? Has God given you a vision? Before we get to vision, let's get to purpose. The word purpose, I was looking at it in the dictionary. They define purpose as the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. Ask yourself this question. Why did God create me? What is my purpose? What are my spiritual gifts? Because each one of us have one, right? What am I supposed to be doing? And who am I supposed to be doing it for? And in searching for your purpose, you need to ask yourself all these questions. Now God has given us a purpose. The purpose that God gave us for our lives go beyond our bodies, go beyond wealth, go beyond prosperity. It goes beyond our temporary lives. God offer us a chance to prepare for eternity, to have a purposeful and meaningful life, not only here, but in eternity. Because in Ecclesiastes 3, 11, it says that God put eternity in our hearts. So therefore, he didn't create us to burn like candles. He didn't create us for us to go through our lives like that third group in the story that I heard, that I just read. That painful goal, frustrated, and go about their business and spend a life of regret. 1 John 4, 8 said that God's essential characteristic is love. He created us 
He gave us a purpose in life. Why? Because he loves us. Why does God love us? We're not, we're not any good. But he loves us. He gave us a purpose because he wants us to go out there and build his kingdom. The world is going through so much right now. Yes, we can stay in church. We can pray for the world. That's good and all. We can be on our knees and pray. But at one time, at a certain point of time, we need to get up from our knees. And we need to reach out. Now, how do we reach, we reach out? It doesn't start with a group of people. It starts with your friend, your classmate, your co-workers. Because guess what? If you spread the gospel to one person, and the person receives the gospel, share that gospel with the family, you change an individual, you change a family, the family changes the community, the community changes society, the society changes our rules and regulations, and then we have a better society. It starts with the family. It starts with you, the purpose that God has given you. Because God, the, God's word says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, seek my face, turn away from your wicked ways. Amen. God said he will hear from heaven Amen. and he will heal our land. Amen. What is your purpose this morning? And what is the vision that God has given you? Do you even have one? God wants us to expand his family. The last time I preached here, I preach about the Great Commission. I don't know why God keep putting those things in my mind, in my heart for me to share with you. Don't take it lightly. Don't take it lightly. Find your purpose in life. Because in the will of God, this is when you'll find true happiness. In the will of God, this is where you're going to find peace. The perfect peace that surpasses all understanding that the Bible talks about. This is the only time you'll find it in the will of God, doing God's work. Now, not all of us are called to be ministers. Not all of us are called to be preachers and bishops. But all of us have a purpose of our life, in our lives, including my daughter to this young man. He has a purpose, and God has called him to do something specific. That's why it's important to pray for each other, to encourage each other. You may not be able to sing, you may not be able to preach, but you're able to pray, pray. You're able to worship, worship. Amen. You're an encourager, encourage. You're a teacher, teach. Sometimes our purpose is to change dirty diapers. Mm. This church is going to grow. Yeah. Babies are coming here. Amen. Toddlers are coming. So when they're going to nursery, we're going to need people to change diapers. Amen. Think about that. One of the greatest apostles Preach. in the New Testament had an encounter with God on the road to Damascus. Everybody knows his story. He was cut up in the third heaven. He just saw a glimpse of God's glory. He went blind. But guess what? The whole purpose of Paul's life was changed in that instant. He went from being a prosecutor of the Christian to spreading God's word. Now that you understand, you have a purpose. Let's talk about vision. Say the word vision. 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 Has God given you a vision this morning? The word vision, the dictionary defined it as the ability to see, sight, or eyesight. Another meaning that I like is something that you imagine, a picture that you see in your mind, something that you see or dream, especially as part of a religious or supernatural experience. That's how the dictionary defines a vision. Now, when God gives you a vision, what do you do with it? We read in Habakkuk 2, 
first, write it down. Say, write it down. Write, write it down. down. Keep it before you at all times. Repeat that. Keep, Keep it before, before you at all times. And run with it. And run with it. What do we do with it? We run with it. We run with it. But you say, Sister Sky, I see no way that my vision can come to pass. Because we all have vision. A vision started this church. A vision started this church. Though you did not see it physically, but it all started with a vision. Mm -hmm. Pastor had a vision. Me being here was a vision. Mm -hmm. Maybe I didn't know it at that time. You being here is a vision because God has appointed this very minute, mm -hmm. this very second, for you to be here and listen mm -hmm. to what he has to say to you. The Bible says the vision is yet for an appointed time. That's what God told Habakkuk. Write it down. Don't worry. It might not come to pass right now. But it will surely come to pass. Because it is for yet an appointed time. Everything that God has planned for you. He has set it for a specific time in your life. And it's not going to come any sooner than that. But don't lose faith. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Amen. You can't give up. Praise God. You may not know where it's going to come from. You may not know how you're going to get it. Your vision is to own that home. I have no money, no job, credit is bad. Keep that vision. It's yet for an appointed time. If that God, if what God has put in your heart, it will surely come to pass Amen. because God is not a man that he shall lie. Amen. 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 So ask God to reveal 